Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer and i got a question here <clears throat> about startup versus working for a big company and i'm not going to answer this how you think i am based on on what this gentleman has said here so his name is Ilias. i think it's Ilias, and he says hey john first of all i want to thank you for the very amazing content here I'm a computer science student in my first year of master's. Uh, I started to think about my career after I get the degree next year. Do you think that working for a big company and getting a high salary is better for me or making and building my own startup is knowing that my first interest is money and I have all the conditions to be a successful entrepreneur? Thanks for your precious help. So there's one phrase in there that completely changed my perspective. If he didn't say this one phrase, I would have said, yeah, start your own company, be an entrepreneur. Definitely I would have said that and I would have said, yeah, that's way better. Don't go and work for some big company. And, but because he said that his number one priority is money, I cannot in good conscience recommend that you start a startup and become an entrepreneur uh, to make money. Maybe you'll make money, <laughs> but it's not going to be fast and it's not going to be guaranteed. And if, if your plan is to make money, man, go work for a company that pays you a high salary. You'll make more money that way, right? Now, if, you, if your plan is to own your own thing, if you want to impact the world in some large way, if, you want, if you're willing to wait 10, 15 years to make money, then be an entrepreneur, then start a startup because assume the first one's going to fail. I mean, you think you've got all the success and the makings to be a successful entrepreneur and you have all of them except for one and I'll tell you the one you're missing and the one you're missing, we could call it experience. I'd call it getting kicked in the nuts. It's failure. It's failure. It's experience. It's, it's hard won grit, right? You may be brilliant. You may have the skills, you may have the knowledge and the education to succeed as an entrepreneur, but you have not yet failed. You have not yet made the mistakes that you're going to mistake, that you're going to make, right? You, that's what experience is, it's the mistakes that you make. And so that's why you're not gonna make money. Now, I could be wrong, you could start the next Facebook and make a bazillion dollars and, and whatever, and, and but but that's that's, unlikely to be the case. And I'm, I'm an optimist. I'm not saying this to be pessimistic at all. I totally believe in you. I believe you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying don't expect to succeed on your first try. If you think you're just going to suddenly start a startup and it's going to be successful, very, very unlikely. You can get a job at a stable company and make money. And you, that's very likely. It's almost guaranteed that you're going to get your paycheck and, and, and you'll make money. And if you get a good job, you'll make a lot of money. But maybe in your heart, Maybe that isn't your one priority thing. Maybe it isn't just money, okay? Uh, if it is, then, then yeah, then you've got your answer. But maybe you need to re-examine and say, well, maybe, you know, and, and are you willing to, to fail? Are you willing, what, what is it worth to you, right? For me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back to working for a company. I mean, I, I've had a lot of good jobs, but even if I didn't make any money, I would, I would have to do what I'm doing. I'd have to do something on my own because uh, I, freedom is my number one value in life. I, I've talked about this a lot of times. You can you can check out my videos on freedom. I think I've, I think I probably have a freedom playlist by now, but that's what's important to me. It's not money. That's number one. If number if money were number one for me, I'd still be doing Pluralsight videos. You can check out my Pluralsight videos. I did 55 Pluralsight videos, and then about four years ago, I stopped 
even though that was the most profitable thing that I was doing because I realized that the, I, what I wanted to do was make an impact. What I wanted to do was reach more software developers and help them to live better lives. What I wanted to do was own my own business and own my own company and be an entrepreneur and know that I created and built something from the ground up. And, th and that's, to me, that's more fulfilling, right? I, I, and, and I still make money, but I could have made, made a lot more money just continuing to do Pluralsight courses. So there you have it. That's, I think it's a, a pretty simple, straightforward answer there it, based on what you said. But you might want to reevaluate like, what is really important to you, especially in long term versus short term, right? If you're, if you're thinking really long term and you're thinking about making money, then probably the best way to make money in the long term is to go an entrepreneurial road. Just don't expect that it's gonna happen in one year, or two years, or three years. It might take five, it might take 10, it might take 15 years. Probably if you go down the path of entrepreneur, right, and you're dedicated and you're willing to go through the hardship, in 15 years you'll probably do better than you will working for someone else, probably. Can't guarantee it, that's the other path of the entrepreneur, no guarantees. All right, if you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below and make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any videos. You can always email me a question at john at simpleprogrammer.com and I will talk to you next time. Take care.